Long haulers themselves, as they started talking on chat rooms, they started seeing what was happening. And we just got from, I think the beginning was just before Thanksgiving through the Christmas holiday. It was, it was, I was trying to take a holiday, but I couldn't even, I mean, we had samples coming in here. It was, it was intense. And, uh, but they are so sick and so desperate. They've driven it and they've been actually teaching the physicians on why this is important because many, many physicians still to this day do not believe them. They think it's all in their head. They think that, uh, that it's something else uh, and it's very frustrating for them. They, we've reached out to physicians all over the country who have seen long haulers, believe in it, understand that there is an issue yeah. and that they really need to help these patients and we're training each other. So it's kind of this, it's a consortium of physicians who are really evolving together, so to speak, because it's such as a new area. You know, it's so, it's so powerful and it's also setting a precedent, right? For how, um, how yes. type of, like how healthcare really should be done. You know, you should have Absolutely. patients to the table and invite doctors to the table and, and, and learn from each other. Um, so I right. think it's, there's right. a lot of, there's a lot of power in, in vulnerability as well on the physician side to say, you know, we're, we're still learning. And I don't think, right. I don't think you hear that, that often. We're up to 30 physicians on that group now. And so yeah. often patients will come to us and say, my, my primary care physician doesn't believe me. They just don't. And we give them a name of a person in their state where they can go. And because of telemedicine, they can get the need that the help that they need. And so we've offered that service as well. So it's a kind of, it's a program. It's not just a lab test. And I think that's been interesting to us because as a company, we've really always developed lab tests, but we've never really put this an entire program together where you're really dealing with the patients the physicians and the lab all at the same time. So it's yeah. been an interesting, uh, interesting process put it that way. <laughs> I, I'm also curious then on what are the challenges that you're experiencing, you know, as you, as you move into this next phase? Oh, we're small, we're 20 people here, you know, <laughs> and we're doing a lot for 20 people, but the bottom line is we need, you know, we need more people to be involved and, that have more resources all across the board. We can bring the patients to it. We already have a huge data bank. That's not it, it's the blood bank. That's not actually what we need. We need people that can help us get things set up and have the funds to help us do that. We're also taking in funding, we're raising money, but we understand that the partnership and collaboration is gonna be much more helpful to us. So that I would say is our biggest challenge. It's a small, you know, we're a small company and we're trying to do big things. And getting from here to there is, is complicated and it takes a tremendous amount of energy. It also takes recognition of what our work is and, and having people want to support it and confirm it on a big scale, which is what we believe we can do. So that's, I would say is the largest challenge. <laughs>